Okay, so this is how to use the Jefferson wind calculator or CR side of the calculator. And what we first do is we have to use the green scale for our winds and our wind speeds. The outer scale is our, our true airspeed. And the scale here in the middle is our degree of drift or our correction factor. And so what we do is, let's say we have a 0, 090 0 at 20 knots. What we do is we have to put 0, 090 0 up the top, line it up with TAS on the uh, 1C scale there. And then what we do is we come down to 20 knots here and we draw a circle around that vertical and the 20 knots. So just draw it around there. And the reason I draw a circle rather than a dot is it's very hard to find your dot once you start moving it. So now what we then do is we then turn our green scale to whatever our intended heading is going to be. So say our intended heading is going to be 060. You'll now see that our dot has moved around to the right. And what that means is we now have a wind coming from our right hand side. And we can read on this scale here how strong the crosswind is and on this scale here how strong the headwind is. If it was back here that would be a tailwind. So in this case that is going to equal around about 15 degrees on this scale here. 15 sorry not degrees 15 knots of crosswind from our right and around about say 13 14 maybe even 15 knots of headwind. So we'd use the headwind to adjust our ground speed and we use the crosswind to adjust where we need to point so that we don't get blown off course. So what we do then do is we come on in an outer scale around to 15 knots of crosswind and then these two here tell us how far we need to adjust. So we need to adjust roughly eight and a half degrees to our right of track so that we don't get blown off track from the wind that is coming from our right. So if, say for example, we wanted to head 060, we need to adjust that 8.5 degrees, so we would need to actually head 068 or 069 so that we didn't get blown off track. And that's how to use the wind side.